Hi everyone, my name is King IV, and this is an audit analytics workshop on how to analyze segregation of duties in a JD Edwards environment using computer assisted auditing. So you would receive four files, the, the environment, which listed users and what environment they're in, object listing, list of roles and what objects and what kind of access they have access to, a list of users and their roles, and list of established conflicts. So a couple of things you should know that you should only be analyzing users in the JD, P, JPD or PD environment. Only objects with add, change, or delete actions should be analyzed. And a user can have many objects and an object can be associated with many users. Uh, so perform the segregation duties analysis. So let's get started. So I've already imported the data. A couple of things we're gonna do is we're gonna record the macro. And then first thing I'm gonna do is we're only going to look for users that uh, users that have access to uh, the JDPD or PD environment. So what we're going to do here is, and it's slightly confusing, it says user ID, but really means the member or the role. Uh, the tables have slightly different names, but not a problem. So then we're going to go, we're going to use mid, and we're going to say, one three if that equals JDPD or very similarly if it says JPD two and then we're gonna go there. So you'll see that there's sixty four members are in the various environments. We're gonna do the same thing on this object listing. Uh, because we only want objects that have a Y in either the add, change, or delete. So we're going to go prod object listing. And then we're going to go, I'm going to use this function is any, is in, which is, is this in uh, add, change, or delete? So that way, if there's a Y in either of them, or all of them, it's going to work. Good. So what we're going to do here is we're going to join it this with the production environment. And then all I want is the library list. And I'm going to call this user to uh, prod user to role. And we're going to match it based off of the member of the user. So there you go. And now what we're going to do here is we're going to use this visual connector. And what visual connector allows you to do is allows you to do a many to many match. So we're going to grab the production list, click it, and then I'm just going to connect these two because these are the ones that are related. And then, do I want all these fields? Uh, yeah, except for maybe select view. Um, yeah, do that. And then we're gonna go all records in the primary, all matches. So we're gonna go prod user to roll with object. So now you'll see there's 655. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So essentially what I'm going to do is there's these rules. So that you'll see that there's these various conflict names and sequences. And then if a user has these, these two objects, for example, then they would have this conflict at the sequence. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a join with this rule set. And then I'm only going to pull the fields conflict and sequence name. And I'm going to join it the first time uh, based off of uh, uh, object one and object. So I'm going to match it based off the object first. And I'm only going to pull the member user ID, library listing, object name, uh, yeah, that's it. And then 
we're gonna go matches only and I'm gonna go um, user object rule one so this will tell me all the objects that are in the this listing where they also exist on the rule set but only object one and then we're going to do the exact same thing except for uh, do this all conflict name conflict name sequence the only difference here is we're still going to use object name is we're going to join it with object two and then we're going to go same thing so we're going to call it two and then we don't want all these fields so now we have those in two separate listings and now what we're going to do here is we're going to do join and I'm going to join it with the second table And then I'm going to call this uh, conflicts. In this case, so we want uh, yeah, all these are good. And then I don't really need any of these fields, but I'll also keep member. And then you got to join it based off of the user ID. the conflict name or you can just do the sequence sequence in the user ID now that we see that there's 11 conflicts and we can do some checks so for example um, let's look up user 2 in this listing Actually, let's look up this conflict first. So 419. So we're gonna go rules. 419, which is if they have access, if a user has access to these two objects. So we're gonna go to this table and we're gonna go criteria and we're gonna go object name equals this or object name equals this and then we're going to filter and then I'm going to sort and then you'll see uh, user 2 has both these uh, object listings right here actually under this rule so there you go um, and you see the conflict exists within this because of this rule. So in fact, all users with this rule should in fact have the conflict as well. So uh, that's how you perform segregation of duties analysis at a very high level. And now we've identified these conflicts. What we want to do next, uh, conflicts here, is we would when, then want to follow up with these users and these conflicts and see if there's any mitigating controls, manual controls, or have they really accepted the risk? And this is something that they would just deal with. Okay, uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, thank you.